All right, leg day. We're starting out with some of these XPO uh, pushes. Uh, it's a little sled that, you know, the harder you push, the more resistance it gets. Uh, the weight's on there just for stability to keep the front end from popping up. And so I am just running up and down the driveway. Uh, it's about, oh, around 50 feet, I'd say. I'd estimate 50, 60 feet maybe. And I'm doing it for a total of uh, six repetitions down. I did a couple sets of this. Uh, good little leg pump. This is actually at the very end of the workout, so I had done some stuff. Uh, prior to that and so uh, this is like I said just finishing things out a little bit of conditioning here a little bit of a leg pump uh, it's quite enjoyable it's got some you know obviously some athletic carryover for things like sprinting and stuff like that you know it works your calves your hamstrings your glute muscles you know all that stuff so it's uh, you know a lot of fun and again it's beautiful outside so might as well get out there enjoy uh, some sunshine while we're uh, while we're getting after that and so I've got uh, Matisse filming Matisse Matt 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 is Pappen on, on Instagram. He's over here filming. So, you know, there's a six rep. I'm just finishing up here. Took about a minute to do this. And so from here, uh, well, actually preceding this, I uh, went ahead and did some squats. These are high box squats, so about three, four inches above parallel uh, on these muscle driver foam pads. So, you know, it's a nice impact, soft impact. I've got 500 pounds on the bar. There's 355s, a uh, 35, a 25, and a two and a half pound plate on a 45 pound bar. So that's uh, 500 pounds. Uh, last time I did it for five reps and was fairly easy. So this time I'm just kind of moving it up to eight reps. You know, again, I'm just kind of coming to a kind of a stop here uh, and then bouncing back up, or, or I should say <laughs> standing back up, trying to try to go up explosively. And so this actually felt pretty good, probably uh, easily could have got up for 10. But again, I'm just, like I said, making slow progress here. Haven't done these in, in quite some time. So I'm getting back into some of the heavy stuff. And then uh, let's see, this, is, this might be the last one here. I think that's number eight. Yeah, racking it there. And then we went on to our kettlebell. I've got, uh, you know, some fairly heavy kettlebells. This one is 100 kilos or 220 pounds. And so I'm just swinging it, a Russian style swing, uh, you know, so just basically to chest tight. And uh, I'm getting 20 reps here, which is actually fairly comfortable. Not too much problem. My hat was falling off, so that was a little distracting. So <laughs> maybe next time I'll, I'll lose a hat. But uh, anyway, this again is working your gluteal muscles quite well. A little bit of hamstrings, a little bit of quadriceps, and then then the uh, then the, the the abdominal muscles. The arms are really just guiding it. You shouldn't be using arms much more than just to hold on to the weight.